Your time is precious and you should be making every moment count, perhaps even more so if you're studying. Because if you use the tips I shared with you today, you're going to have all of the time management tools you need to spend just the right amount of time at the books and not a moment more. So you can maximise your productivity and actually give yourself more time to spend doing the things you really enjoy, instead of wasting that time worrying about when you're going to get the job done and inevitably end up cramming. So why is it that cramming just doesn't work for us? Well, it's been known since the 19th century that people just learn better when they study in short sessions. Even a study on mice proved to neurologists that mice performed way better in memory tests if they'd been trained in short, well-spaced out, repetitious sessions as opposed to one prolonged session which just had terrible results. But a few years ago scientists actually discovered why. Turns out your brain synapses encode memories in the hippocampus much better when they're activated briefly at one hour intervals because this engages multiple sets of synapses. Cramming or studying over one long period of time is actually doing your brain a bit of a disservice because it's only engaging one set of synapses. So to literally maximise our brain power, we need to create a schedule. And we should all aim to work in short, repetitious, well spaced out study sessions. And this has been proven in people as well as mice. Research into the practice sessions of elite violinists clearly showed that the best performers weren't necessarily spending more time practicing, but were rather being more productive in their practice sessions. The most common practice schedule for the very best players was to practice intensely for 90 minutes and then to give themselves a 15 to 20 minute break and then this would continue throughout the day. This is actually pretty smart as it works closely with your body's natural energy cycle. You might already know that when we sleep we move progressively through different stages of sleep from light sleep to deep sleep and this occurs every 90 minutes. However it was discovered the same thing happens when we're awake. We naturally move from a higher to lower alertness through throughout the day, and this has been called our ultradian rhythm. The human body has been hardwired to pulse, so to operate at our best we need to renew our energy levels every 90 minutes with a 20 to 30 minute break. It's definitely worth bearing this in mind when you're drawing up your study schedule, and even better if, like the elite violinists, you can try to study at the same time every day, every week. Because if you make your study sessions routine, you're going to be better prepared mentally for each study session and over time each one will become more productive. But the key to the success of the elite violinists isn't just when they study, but it's how they study. And the very best were engaged in more deliberate practice. This is really important because when we don't have direction, we often end up multitasking and no matter how much you might think you can multitask, you can't. In the world of studying, multitasking is just another word for procrastination. You want to be setting yourself specific goals with an overall academic achievement in mind, such as I'm going to learn 30 French words so that I will do really well in my French speaking exam at the end of the month. So we have a study schedule and we're all going to stick to it, right? Wrong, because we all know that the hardest thing is staying focused and not getting distracted. But the trick here is to hold yourself accountable. In a study on diets, researchers found that the average person was way more likely to be able to stick to a strict eating plan if they rigorously monitored what they ate. They were able to maintain more self-control than someone who wasn't keeping track. So why not build an accountability tab into your study schedule to help you keep track of what you've achieved? It will help you to stay positive because you can see what you've accomplished, but also if you did spend your whole 90 minutes on Facebook and you've jotted it down, then you're gonna be more aware of it and less likely to do it again. So there you go guys, you now have the time management tools to create yourself a cram-proof schedule. Next time I'm gonna be sharing some of the best ways to actually study. And a word of warning, if you like using highlighters, you might want to chuck them out the window because turns out pretty colours aren't that useful. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, and I've mentioned procrastination in this video, but if you want to find out how to stop procrastinating, then make sure you check out the last episode of Science of Study. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Stay curious, and I'll see you soon. Bye!